Good evening, Arnold. I've been looking forward to your arrival so very much. How do you know my name? My name is Cassandra. I am a computer with the ability to predict the future with an accuracy rating of 100%. Bless you. Bless you? What do you mean, bless you? No. <gasps> you need a tissue. Chris has one in her left-hand pocket. She says, would you like this? You say, thanks. Would you like this? Thanks. <laughs> Extraordinary. Extraordinary? The questions we can ask, it can tell us our future. The questions we can ask, it can tell us our future. But how does it work? The future's not happened yet. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I never said you would. But how does it work? The future's not happened yet. Although you do. Meg. <laughs> Let's ask her a question about the future. A biggie. OK, Cassandra, do we ever get back to Earth? Has the human race survived? Do I ever find my singing tie-pin? <laughs> do we want to know all this stuff about the future? I mean, do we want to know, for example, how and when we die? Chris is right. Something like that could mess your life up forever. Cassandra, I have a question. I know, Arnold, because I know the rest of this conversation. So what's the answer? He chokes to death, aged 181, trying to remove a bra with his teeth. <laughs> what was the question? I just asked how you died. <laughs> you what? I didn't want to know that. Whose bra? 181? Probably your own. <laughs> Come on, though. Taking a bra off with me teeth, age 181. That's a hell of a sexy way to go. Uh, so long as the teeth are in your mouth at the time, sir. <laughs> I'm really screwed up now. I never wants to know that. Know how I die? It's completely spoiled the surprise. Brighton, this is where you share your theory with your crewmates. I have a theory, everyone. The Silverberg didn't crash, did it, Cassandra? The ship was sent here by the space car on autopilot to get rid of you, to abandon you at the bottom of a lunar sea in the depths of deep space. That's brilliant, bud. How'd you work that out? I read it on this mission directive here. <laughs> so, there was no dead bodies on board, because the ship didn't have a crew. A computer that unerringly predicts the future. Is a dangerous thing indeed. It is a dangerous, uh, yes, precisely. <laughs> we, um, should be making tracks. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. The bulkhead's just given away and we're shipping water at a thousand gallons a second. All the canaries will be dead within one hour, except for Rimmer. Yes! <laughs> Who will be dead in 20 minutes. <laughs> Only Lister, Crichton the cat, and Kachansky survive. What happens to Rimmer? He has a heart attack, brought on by the stress of knowing he's going to die, and collapses, <laughs> collapses during a conversation with me in 19 minutes and 31 seconds. I don't believe you. I simply don't believe you. We shall see, or rather you shall see. I have already seen. <laughs> All the hairs on the back of my neck are standing on end. Mine too. Not just the ones on the back of my neck. It's one up, all up. 